Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Today, I'm going to show you five home remedies on how to clear poison ivy. Let's go. Make sure before trying out these remedies, you wash the area with soap and water thoroughly. Now, let's get into a little bit on how you get this crazy rash. Poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac growing wooden or marshy areas throughout the North America. They have a sticky, long-lasting oil called ursuril that causes an itchy, blistering rash after it touches your skin. Poison ivy or poison oak, they grow as vines or shrubs. The rash is an allergic reaction caused by touching the oily resin called ursuril. It's found in the leaves, stems, and roots of the poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac. This resin is very sticky and it also attaches to your skin, clothes, tools, equipment, pets, anything it comes in contact with. So, the oily resin called arushi oil that's found on these sticky plants, you have to treat it kind of like when you change your oil and you get that oil between your fingers. Or if you're in the kitchen frying chicken and you get grease all over your hands, you got to wash your hands. You have to wash thoroughly with hot water and soap. The arusha oil, the oily resin, it stays on your body for one or two days. And after it gets in your skin, that's what causes the rash. Scientifically, you have to thoroughly clean your skin it's that simple most of the time people don't even know they come in contact with poison ivy therefore it's on their body for a day or two then the rash breaks out but this is the whole reason why you're watching this video let's get into the remedies home remedies on how to fix poison ivy so before we dive into these home remedies please hit that like subscribe and comment if this video is going to be helpful to you let's go okay so any coffee lovers out there is going to like this one this first remedy we're going to need some coffee already whipped up cold coffee at that Go ahead and grab some baking soda. And let's get started. First, put about a half a cup of baking soda in a bowl and slowly add the cool coffee to make a thick paste. Next, cover the rash with the paste made from the cold coffee and the baking soda. Put this all over the blisters and affected area. The reaction from this will start to remove the poison. Next tip. Take a warm bath with oatmeal or Epsom salts. You could use about one cup of oatmeal or two cups of Epsom salts in a full bathtub. By doing so, this will definitely help you get the relief caused by the itchiness from the rash. Next, rub a banana peel or a watermelon rind over the rash and don't rinse it off. Allow it to dry naturally. This will help give the relief of the itchiness caused by the rash. My fourth tip. Make a paste from a tablespoon of turmeric root powder with equal parts of lime or lemon juice and apply to affected area. This spice has a great anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Last but not least, you can blend a potato down to a paste, spread it onto your skin, cover it with a plastic wrap like when you get a tattoo, this potato is an anti-inflammatory. This makes an effective home remedy to heal poison ivy. These same home remedies have worked for me and millions of people across the world. But if it doesn't work for you, I suggest you go see a real doctor. Thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment. See you on the next one. Peace.